Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Norman and today we are talking about the new set of tools recently developed by Microsoft. You probably have heard in my previous video. And this tool is called Microsoft Power Toys. This is basically an advanced tool that is developed by Microsoft. And reason I consider it as a secret right now is because it's not publicly advertised anywhere. It's not available in the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store. You have to only get it through the Microsoft GitHub page. If you know, GitHub is owned by Microsoft. That is a place where you can host your coding projects. Microsoft has been posting over there and you can download this set of tools from there. I'll leave the link in the description as well. And if you don't know how to install this software, I have explained the complete procedure in my previous video. Make sure you check this out by clicking on the card on the top right of the screen. And I'll also add the link in the description as well. So I'll just quickly name the different tools in Power Toys and then we'll look into depth at each one. So basically in the software, you have Fancy Zone, one called File Explorer Preview, Image Resizer, Keyboard Manager, Power Rename, Power Toys Run, and the Shortcut Guide. In order to download Power Toys, click on the given link in the description and this page will open up. You will have to scroll down to the releases button over here and scroll down and download this file and your Power Toys will be downloaded. Here we are at the Power Toys window. So the first thing we see is an option to restart and run the application as administrator. I haven't found that I needed to do that so I didn't. And also you can change the basic setting for the whole thing and also choose to have it run at the startup. Okay, so the first thing we have is the fancy zones. So as you might know that by default, windows will snap the windows to the different part of the screen, but you can actually use the fancy zones to customize that way more. You can actually hit the launch zone editor and this will show you some settings for the possible default ones. They are pre-made. So you can make the window snap to columns or to focus layout or in a row and you can add multiple ones or you can even create a custom one for you. So basically what you do is you can see the setting is to hold shift to activate the zone while dragging and you'll see that it will give an option to put it into one of these zones. You can open up another window for example. Now snap it into the second one, drag it to the third one and then again you can customize it in all the way you see here. I'm not gonna go into the every single setting. You can of course look through them if you want but this is the basics of it. Like I said, you can use any of these settings to make your own. Okay, so the next tool is File Explorer. This tool is very basic and it basically just had the ability to preview images in the specific format that wasn't available before. So these are the SVG files and the markdown files that are enabled using this tool. I show you an example here. If you press Alt P in the Windows Explorer, it will show you the preview of the images like this. So this is an SVG file. Normally this would not show the preview as it is a vector file, the ones that are not supported. But now it's visible with the help of Power Toys. Okay, so the next tool is called Image Resizer and this is pretty self-explanatory as it allows you to resize multiple images of different files and types into a different size. These are the default settings that are pre-made and you also have an option to do so. I'll show you an example over here. Okay, I'll select this image over here and of course you can select multiple ones as well. Okay, you select this image and you go down to the resize picture and that will bring up this power toy tool option for that. Okay, so these are the different options you see that you can actually set custom right here. So let's say I want to resize the picture to medium. So I click this size and there it's a medium one. So if I enable the dimension in the file explorer to show you the size of the picture and you see that the original image size was this and now it's resized to the little bit smaller. It also have a setting for which fallback encoder you want to use. I'm not going to pretend that I fully understand that. You can even change the quality if you want. PNG interlacing and you can also get an option to change the file rename format for the copy it creates which include the file original name, size and stuff like that. Next tool is called Keyboard Manager and this one is really cool. It basically allows you to remap the keys to a different keys on the keyboard and also remap shortcut which is just remapping multiple keys pressed at once to another set of multiple keys mapped at once. I'll show you what I mean in a second. If you want to remap a key, let's say for some reason I want to prank my friend or something and I want to remap let's say number 5, the 5 key. So I'll press 5 and then you can type the key you wanted to remap over here. I'll take 6. You can select the key from the drop down as well. 
and this is just telling me that there is no way to type the number 5 because I'm renaming it to number 6 so I'll continue and now if I open the notepad and I press 5 key this is what it says believe me I'm pressing the key 5 and it displays 6 because we renamed the 5 key to the 6 if I'll also press 6 it will also type the same number and if I want to undo that I can simply go in here and click the trash button and now it's all back to normal this might be useful if you're playing video games for example that doesn't allow you to remap control you can add these remaps and then maybe just keep the feature disabled right here and enable it when you're going to play the game another feature you see here is remap shortcut it's basically the same idea it does show an example over here so if you want to reverse a copy and paste function you can add the shortcut control c and remap it to the shortcut control v so basically when you type control c it will function as control v which is to paste in windows now the next feature is called power rename and it just basically allow you to bulk rename a lot of different files in an advanced way so i use three text files as an example and you highlight all three of them and go down to the power rename and then it will bring up this window over here where you search for what you want to replace and then what to replace with let's say i want to search for published word and replace it with pixels and now you can see it will give you a preview of what it will look like afterwards so published one got renamed to pixel one and similarly the other files you can actually go through the different options over here so there is use regular expression which i'm not super familiar with but it basically allows you to use the set of coding notations that i think they are like in python or c and other coding languages it basically just allows you to make very advanced and specific searches for different things you want to add and search for you can also choose to only make it case sensitive exclude certain file and folders and stuff like that so you can look through over here and we renamed it now and we see the all files that we selected are now renamed and then you have all the features and few options that you can change if you want to moving on to the next feature that's called power toy run which basically adds up a new type of searching capability so as you probably know that you will search for a program and stuff by going to the start menu and typing in the name of the stuff you're looking for well power toy run add a new thing if you press alt space it will bring up the search bar kind of in the middle of the screen where you can actually start typing and it will show you the set of results and programs and you can also do things like run as administrator or open the containing folder in my opinion this one looks very nice and modern to me you can of course change the shortcut and ignore it in the full screen all right finally now we have the shortcut guide and this basically means if you hold down the window key for the duration here which is 0.9 seconds it will give you a guide for all the different windows shortcut keys so you can press windows key and any of these letter and it will do the corresponding thing for example if i press windows i it will open the settings menu just like i said so yeah that should pretty much cover all of these and you can enable or disable all of these individually if you want just by pressing the little toggle on each of these so those are all the tools that are existing right now at the time of making this video as the developers are actively developing this program and you might see a lot of changes according to what I show you with some additional details depending on when you are watching this video. So let me know what you think about this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.